One of the questions that I get asked a lot is I have customers that may have a couple hundred people on their route schedule and they just feel that their route schedule isn't correct or optimized um, and they're just not sure how to start fresh and start over. So the only way I can think of to do this or the best method that we have so far is called zones. Uh, think of it as you could look at a map and draw circles all over a city and each circle would be a zone, usually based upon a zip code. The easiest way to do this. First thing is if we go to our route schedule by clicking the route schedule button here, you're gonna see a route schedule. I don't have it in any special order. This video is purely to show you how to set zones so you can recreate your route schedule. So we have this little zone drop down here. And if you haven't entered zones, you're not gonna see anything when you click it. These zones can be created here or they could be inside the customer detail. Um, Two different ways to do it. First one is you could double click any of this blank areas. It doesn't matter which box, I could double click any of them. It brings me to a follow up screen. And when you're creating zones, you're basically going to create a number one through 99 on the left column under zone. And the description should be the zip code. So, for example, uh, we'll do one would be the zip code 34952. And if you want to create a second one, you can go here and make your next zip code 34983. So zone one will be this zip code, zone two will be this zip code here. If I click close, it saves those changes. And you may not see them right away. You'll notice that I've done that, but they're not here. If that's the case, click the close button here and then open the route schedule back up. It just needs to be reset. Now, when you hit the drop down, you can actually see the zones now. And you'll notice the zones on the left and the zip codes on the right to tell you what each zone represents. Now, I've found that the best way to set these is inside the customer detail. You can go down your route schedule and set them up one by one. So for example, I'm gonna double click Fernando's Dockside Grill. That's gonna take me into the customer detail. And right down along the bottom, you have your zone selection. Now I already have 34952, the same zip code he uses. I have that right here, so I'm gonna select zone one. Now I'm gonna get a pop-up. It's gonna say, would you like to update all customers with this postal code 34952 with the zone number one? For ease, I would hit yes. What it's gonna do is run through your entire customer list and everybody that has that zip code 34952 is gonna be assigned to zone one. This will save you a lot of time. So I'm gonna click yes on that. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And right here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of customers already have zone one in here. So the system is doing a lot of work for you. Uh, all these customers have the same zip code. Now, I could just go next down my list and say, okay, let me double click Alfonso's here and let's set his zip code, 34983, which I also have in the list here. I'm going to click yes to update all people with the same zip code, give them the same zone number. And it looks like there's only two that had that. Now, let's say we come across another one. Let's go to West End Grill. We're going to double click the name. Here's a new zip code for us, 34986. So again, just double click the open area, takes you into a sub menu. You're gonna give it the next number at the bottom. And I copied, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that zip code in, but you can hand type it or copy and paste it, 34986. I'm gonna go ahead and use the drop down to select that. And yes, I wanna update all customers with this on my route schedule. So we're almost through this entire thing. First step is get through your entire route schedule. Make sure everybody has a zone. Let's create the 33413. So I'm gonna double click the blank area, the number four in here, 33413, and we'll click close to save that. And let's go ahead and select it. So once you're done with this, you're gonna have a nice pretty list of zones. Um, if we close the route schedule, and then go back in, now you can sort by the zones. So for example, let's say you want to, you have 500 stops and you wanna see everybody in uh, the zip code number one here, 34952. You could sort this and now you can actually start going through and assigning it. Maybe your route one tech is going to do everything in zone one. So you could just go down the list and reassign. But before you do that, here's what I would recommend. Let's go ahead and hit reset before you decide to blow things away and reinvent your route schedule. First thing is I would do this on a weekend. That's the first step I would take. Uh, it'd be best to do this on a weekend just in case you get into time constraints or you know, do it on a day where you have off because time constraints are a big deal. 
if you don't have this route schedule ready to go, by the time your technicians start work again on Monday, for example, then you're going to be in trouble. So first thing I would do here before I rebuild my route schedule or address it, anywhere in this layout, you can right click anywhere. You're going to get the same options. Doesn't matter where you right click as long as it's inside this spreadsheet layout. So for example, just pick a customer name, right click. You want to analyze it with Microsoft Excel. And if you get a pop-up that says, uh, do you want to replace the file? Hit yes. It's just essentially replacing this file that it's going to make over and over. Each time you analyze it Excel, it just creates an Excel document and it's just going to replace it. So just hit yes. And when you're done, the system's actually going to open up Microsoft Excel. This is your backup of your route schedule. You'll notice a lot of blank columns, but if we scroll over, all of our important data is here. So this is your backup. It's very important that before you do a thing, you back this up. If you don't back this up and you start making this route schedule and you trash everything, we can't help you if you don't have any backups of your database. So very important that you right click anywhere, analyze with Microsoft Excel, and yes to replace if asked. Keep a copy of this somewhere handy. And then from here, like I said, you can go through, start sifting through zip codes or there, yep, your zip codes and get it to sort and then start assigning whichever tech is taking that end of town. That is the easiest way to redo your route schedule. It's the only way that I have at this moment to really show you. At some point, we'll probably have other avenues, but for now, this is the best way.